look at these gorgeous mushrooms. The whole family right in front of the house. Another beautiful foggy morning. Last night we went out on a dinner date to a restaurant we love around here. And when we go out, I always, always forget to film. So I guess I like being present with my husband. Eric is working out and I am off to make coffee. Thick, creamy cashew milk latte. Yum. With a dash of this on top, but most importantly with this. I've been drinking this for three days, putting in my morning elixirs. And I am telling you, I have been feeling Good. And I've been wondering why, and then I realized. New Hawaii. All right. Thank you. Peek at the ingredients. It's all these beautiful plants, adaptogens. Yep. Thank you, ma'am. Um, my wife brings me coffee. It's very nice. It's better than nice. <laughs> I was just trying to carry five items with two hands to bring Eric coffee. Carrying my coffee, going to my office. Oh, look at the trees. Never stop noticing that beauty. I have some video podcast recordings today and maybe i'll record another video about some upcoming changes to the channel to the podcast to my instagram to everything i do i had a massive massive download and shift i'm just so excited to embody and share with you and maybe there's a piece of it that will remind you something that you've been meaning to do that you've been putting off Oof, the fog is crazy look at that right there all right let's do some stuff <sighs> Here's on, it's super cozy. I'm gonna put my cozy slippers on, sheep stance, and here I put my camera. And let's go. You know when you have something stuck in your hair or in your teeth, and hopefully someone will tell you and maybe even take it out for you, where you see yourself in the mirror, you do it for yourself, or you see yourself reflected in your phone as you're filming something, you're like, oh, you know. But the question is, when a caterpillar has something major stuck in its head and pretends to be dead, by the way, what do you do? Do I help her? Do I tell her to do it? Do I tell her friend to do it? What do I do? It's definitely fall up in the Catskills. The leaves are starting to change. It's layers time. What is this? Is this a tree or makeup? I don't know. Quite a magical time. I'm excited to sit on this porch when it gets even colder, you know, layered up in cozy sweaters and drinking my morning coffee and maybe journaling. Or maybe I'll never do that. Often I'll see someone doing that on Instagram or YouTube and then I'm like, oh, I want this. And I set everything up to do it and then I never do it. Maybe I just need to do it in my mind. And maybe doing it in my mind is all that I need and there's not even a physical manifestation that's needed because it's all happening on an energetic level. You know what? Maybe the pursuit of what you think you want is what's more important than the final result of me sitting there being able to enjoy every step of the way of putting it together of being creative with it visualizing myself doing all those things and how much joy it's going to bring in aliveness that it's going to connect me to hello mushrooms i love you you're beautiful thank you for growing here look how high up they go it's absolutely incredible wow mycelial networks speaking with the trees and the roots and helping carry food for all the plant beings on this land. This is pure magic. If you haven't seen the film Fantastic Fungi, I highly recommend it. I've been re-watching it and some of my favorite people in the world, Dr. Weil and Paul Stamets are in it, spreading the magic and the healing and the interconnectedness of all of us on this planet through mycelial networks. I highly recommend it. Fun fact, I have met Dr. Weil, I've gone to his house to interview him for my podcast. And he made me a cup of matcha and I made him a cup of ceremonial cacao and we did a little ritual. And I actually did an interview with him. So if you want to listen to this, I'm going to link to it in the show notes. It is on my podcast as well. And we talk about coffee and cacao and plants and entrepreneurship and so many things. I was super nervous because, you know, Dr. Weil is one of the most iconic doctors. Just being his house and meeting his dogs and being able to share a cup of matcha and cacao with him. And I brought some of my favorite Eskinosi chocolate, which he loved, was really one of the top moments of aliveness. For sure. Yesterday I was in one of those feed me moods where I have food at home but I really don't feel like cooking it. Like all my creative energy went into my work, my podcast, my videos. That's when I especially love going out for meals to local restaurants, going on new adventures and discovering new places to eat. And the bonus points is always having leftovers. I love rethinking and reimagining and making something brand new with the next day. That's what I'm doing. 
This is a mix of kale I sauteed yesterday, eggs, corn, and also some leftovers from a restaurant we went to yesterday. So a little squash right there, a little squash right there, and some spicy sauce and hot hummus, and I've been really into vegetables. Let's enjoy this meal. This is one of those beautiful fall days between when it gets extremely cold and when it was really hot. And soon there'll be a lot of snow everywhere and we won't be able to walk down here without boots on. I'm wearing sandals right now. <laughs> Something just fell into my- It was a leaf. Oh. It is fall. Beautiful view all around. So nice. This is the most wonderful time of the year. It's the most wonderful time of the year. This is a significant moment in history because Eric is trying his first dad shoes. No, I used to wear these when I was a kid. Let's take a look. Oh, they're comfortable. How bad do they look in your eyes? Oh, pretty bad. You just need white long socks to go with them to complete the look. No, I can live with shoes like this for comfort. Are you kidding me? They really feel extremely comfortable. I don't think I can. All right, we're going to divorce over a pair of sneakers now. All right, sounds good. Get the papers. These are like Silicon Valley startup guy shoes. Yeah, good. Aren't shoes about being comfortable? For men, I think they are. I love taking little breaks during my work day. Sometimes I'll make a cacao or matcha and sometimes I'll just walk up the hill to check out the clouds, the deer, any other animals. <sighs> wow. So easy to reset the energy of the whole day. Just a little walk and a couple of breaths. So wherever you are now that you can always take a couple of breaths to reset your energy, enter a new portal, enter a new timeline and choose how you want to show up in your life. Choose how you want to feel. Choose who you want to be. Choose what energy you want to be a conductor for. Wow, nice red top. You're looking great. Thank Colors you. are amazing. Creating new earth here. Look, Whoa, what old do you, kale. Oh gone. my God, that kale. Look at that root of that kale. It looks like a tree trunk. Thank you, kale. 